Artificial intelligence is something that's on the minds of executives, journalists, and it's really getting into almost every living room. And what we sought to do was to study companies that are getting return out of their investment and how they're trying to transform their organizations. To determine relative performance today, we put together a simple two by two based on how much they're investing and then what's the return on investment they think that they're getting from artificial intelligence. When it comes to getting the return on investment, a lot of that has to do with how well they're accomplishing those goals, whether they are getting benefits from what they sell, whether they are changing their operations in a material way. When we look at the industries that are doing the best, one that stands out is technology, media, and telecommunications, which we call TMT. One reason that TMT companies are doing so well is that they're creating products that have artificial intelligence built in, then directly selling to the market. An example of that are smart speakers with voice assistants. Healthcare is an interesting story because they're investing a fair amount, but their returns have been a little bit lower than their peers. Healthcare has been very ambitious about the types of problems that they've been solving. So they initially were looking for some big bang projects like being able to improve drug discovery or improve clinical outcomes. These are very noble goals, but they're the sorts of transformations that tend to take a little bit more time. Then there are some industries that are doing very well with their investments. One example is to use artificial intelligence to be able to predict when a system is going to go down. Predictive analytics has been around for a while. It's getting better with artificial intelligence. And some companies are being able to monetize this as a service as well. This can apply to aerospace and defense, heavy machinery, even automobiles where the customer can be warned ahead of time that there might be a problem and they should bring their car into the garage. One thing that we're seeing now that's going to change how companies get return is that it's getting easier and easier to start using artificial intelligence with much lower rates of initial return. So you don't have to invest as much in your infrastructure or in your processing power because of cloud-based services. The challenge then is, are you picking the right use cases? Are you making sure that the pilots that you produce, can you scale them? Are you solving the right business challenge? What we found is that the companies that have got business experts who can speak data science to the data science team and who can speak business to the business people can end up getting those projects that have much bigger scale and much bigger business outcome. 